Dick Rutan and Jenna Yeager shared a dream in a small cafe in Mojave in 1980 to fly an airplane around the world without stopping or refueling. Six years later, their dream became a reality when they completed the Voyager mission, Making History. On December 14, 1986, the mission took off from Edwards Air Force Base in California. The Voyager, a one-of-a-kind aircraft designed specifically for this record-breaking flight, was built primarily out of lightweight materials such as carbon fiber. It had a massive fuel tank that could hold 1,400 gallons of fuel, which was required for the flight. Rutan, a former Vietnam War fighter pilot, piloted the plane alongside Jaeger, a flight instructor and business partner who also served as a flight engineer and navigator. They flew over 25,000 miles through nine countries and three continents, encountering turbulent weather and mechanical problems along the way. Despite these challenges, Rutan and Jaeger flew without incident, setting a new world record for flight endurance. After taking off from the same location, the Voyager landed on a dry lake bed nine days, three minutes, and 44 seconds later. It traveled a total of 25,012 statute miles. Reporters and camera operators cheered as Voyager descended at a rate of 500 feet per minute, and an estimated 50,000 spectators shouted and applauded. As the sun broke through the low clouds on the horizon above the lake bed, the control tower at Edwards Air Force Base announced that the white, spindly Voyager was visible nine miles to the south. The plane appeared over a mountain range, followed by three chase planes, and began a slow descent to the base. Their achievement capped a year in U.S. aviation that began on January 28th with the tragic loss of the Space Shuttle Challenger during launch. Jaeger, 34, and Rutan, 48, appeared remarkably fit and in good spirits despite being bruised by the weather and haggard from a lack of sleep. The lightweight carbon fiber, honeycomb wings, and fuselage of the Voyager aircraft weighed more than 11,000 pounds at takeoff, and less than 2,300 pounds by the time they landed. It had a cockpit the size of a pup tent, and a wingspan comparable to a Boeing 727. During the nine-day flight, Voyager experienced oil problems, a faulty fuel gauge, and finally a vapor lock that forced the rear engine to shut down for five minutes. Voyager had also been tipped on its side like a kite in a powerful storm, battering Jaeger inside the phone booth-sized cabin. Its wings dragged along the runway as it took off, scraping about a foot off each styrofoam tip. Voyager crossed the Pacific Ocean just south of Hawaii, flew over the Philippines, Malaysia, the Indian Ocean, Central Africa, the Atlantic Ocean, Central America, and Mexico before returning home. The Voyager aircraft is now on display at the National Air and Space Museum in Washington, D.C., as a testament to the ingenuity and determination of Rutan and Jaeger and their entire team. According to Bert Rutan, Dick Rutan's brother and the Voyager's designer, the actual distance the Voyager traveled was much greater than the 25,012 miles certified by the National Aeronautic Association. Bert Rutan estimated the Voyager traveled a total of 26,000 miles, taking into account the weather detours the aircraft had to take during the flight. Despite the fact that the total cost of design and development exceeded $2.5 million, Rutan stated that only private individuals could have completed the project, as commercial industry saw no profit in this world record at the time. These are interesting things with J.C.